Do you know that feeling when the sun just hits you in the right spot and you're feeling good once you wake up in the morning? That's precisely how I'm feeling today, guys. So, as you can hear, my voice is still a bit hoarse. It's still a bit, eh, you know what I'm saying. So, but anyway, I've had a glass of water this morning and I feel recharged and I feel a hundred right now. So, I'm about to start the day. Like I said, like unfortunately yesterday we couldn't finish the macros. Being day one, I wasn't really, too, I wasn't too concerned, especially how I was being physically. But today I want to rectify that. And like I said, today we have heavy squats, so that's gonna happen later. But I really want to emphasize. Uh, I really want to talk about my training speed for this particular week, so that will happen later. So enjoy the video. We're exactly 10 weeks out from Christmas. So this is the diary from yesterday. I hope you guys get a clearer glimpse of what I mean by me failing uh, to hit my mark, my calorie target yesterday. So my goal was 2300, but I got to 1728, so I had a deficit of 572. Um, I'm not too disappointed, like I said, but... Uh, Today we have to rectify that, so a new day, we'll start strong and I'll show you what the result will be at the end. So if you guys paid attention yesterday, this is the lunch I said I was going to have before my first workout of the series. So it's 100 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of fish fillet and 150 grams of pasta, that's my cup sauce. So need to put this on a plate and heat it up before I eat. So as my pre-workout meal is heating up in the microwave, uh, I promise you guys I'll talk about my workout split and I think I'll sit down and eat because I'm kind of hungry and as I eat I'll explain everything. So that's just specifically for this week and since I said I usually change my splits from time to time, I just explain this week's split only. So as I'm just about to eat my lunch pre-workout, uh, I thought I'd show you guys what I've been up to the whole day. I had a client early in the morning and um, I was doing some client stuff, some meal prep for other people and I also had enough time to just start editing yesterday's video. So yesterday was Sunday, so I was doing day, the day one of the GBS series, I was just editing that video a bit, I'll show you a sneak peek. So there's that and I was actually looking at my calories for today, I'm actually pretty good, better than yesterday. Like I said, today my aim is to finish and so this is my lunch as I showed you earlier. 100 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of fish fillet, and 150 grams of pasta. And these are the calories. So 700 calories for lunch, uh, 537 calories for the pasta, 129 for the fish, and I don't know whether it's clear, 34 for the broccoli. So you see my total at the moment, after two meals, is 1302 of 2300 and my, the remainder I have for the day is 998 so I have a lot of wiggle room and considering the fact that I haven't worked out yet that's kind of a good thing because I love my post workout and something extremely light to, to cap it all off later in the day. With my experience in training with weights and different kinds of training I don't usually like to stick to one particular style of training that is the bro split it just doesn't do it for me anymore so even though I'm prepping for, I'm prepping to get ready for, by Christmas, I like to switch up my training sessions from time to time. So it's important for me to always enjoy training and not never get bored because I've been bored with training in the past. So for this week, like I said, I'm gonna start off today. Today is Monday. I'll hit legs today. So usually I have two sessions of legs a week. Um, it used to be a lagging body part of mine, but I'm slowly building it up. And I don't know based based on pictures I, I posted. On Instagram, um, yesterday, my physique kind of looks good, especially my lower body, so it's something I've improved on. Nevertheless, you can always get better, so for me, two leg days a week, one is particularly heavy to focus on strength, the other one's a bit lighter to focus on um, more volume, so more volume meaning just hitting more reps and sets, um, especially using machines. So today is Monday, I'll start with legs, then I'll do a cardio session, I'll do uh, about a two to three kilometer jog so uh, that's today so legs and cardio today tomorrow tomorrow i'll do chest and arms and then cardio and then wednesday i'll do back and shoulders but no cardio so monday tuesday cardio cardio and then wednesday off so no cardio thursday i'll do legs second session of legs this week more volume focusing more on machinery focusing more on volume meaning uh, more reps and more sets so Thursday will be legs again, second one, and 
cardio session number three. So then uh, day five, which is Friday, I'll focus on back. No, f- Friday I'll focus on chest and arms again. So chest, arms, second session with cardio. So that's Monday, Tuesday cardio. Wednesday no cardio. Thursday, Friday cardio. Saturday I'll do back and shoulders again, second session with no cardio. And then Sunday I'll have an active rest day. I'll do abdominals. I hardly actually do abdominals. I, you know, actually the last time, fun fact, I haven't done abs properly since July, and that was with the client. So I'm actually surprised my abs still kind of pop. But that may be because I'm kind of lean. So yeah, and maybe genetics do also help. You know, in a way there. So I'll just. That's basically this week's particular program. I'll sh- I'll I'll put up. Uh, this week's uh, schedule for me on the screen, so you can see what I'll do this week. So if I sound a bit hoarse or my voice sounds a bit freaky, forgive me. My voice has finally given in, and yeah, I sound crazy now. But anyway. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. It's the best part of the day, the point where I start to work out. So, like I said, today we're hitting legs. It's a bit sunny, but it feels like it's gonna rain anyway. That's besides the point. Um, after I had my lunch, as you guys saw, I had black coffee, just to have an extra, give me an extra kick. I'm just about to have my favorite Tic Tacs, which are the intense mint. I've talked about this before in a previous video, but I'd like to emphasize it again. I usually have one or two, just it's just a ritualistic thing every time after before i work out i always have at least one or two tic tacs so yeah so hitting legs today pretty heavy especially on the squat uh should be a good day and i'll take you along with me from the gym first day of training during this series and I did it again another PR I mean I don't know what it was whether it was the Tic Tacs whether it was the spirit and the power of the powerhouse gym which is the trenches deep in the dirty south of LA um, I like I love training in such gyms there's so much so many good vibes and so much energy in a gym like that so I don't even know I hit a PR and I improved from my previous PR by I think 15 pounds so I don't know I'll have to calculate that in kgs but by 15 pounds and the last time I actually so today is October 16th day 2 of the GBS series and I've hit a PR so I don't know what to attribute that to whether it's the tic tacs whether it's the power and the spirit of the of the trenches or whether it's just me having a lot of set to get shredded so 
I still have strength, even though I've just started being in a deficit as far as calories are concerned. But I still have I still have that energy and power, and I've really improved my squad. So I'm a bit surprised they hit the PR today because the plan was to just go in, enjoy the first day. So I, I kept as I went up, I kept, I kept feeling stronger and stronger and stronger. So I wasn't even aware until I looked back at the footage and counted the plates and did the uh, the calculation. And I was like, damn, okay. So I'll take the PR, and I'm happy about that, obviously. But it wasn't really the main focus of today. Main focus of today was to to just count. Uh, sorry, not to just, uh, so to just go to the gym and execute, execute, execute. So yeah, you know one of those moments where you're, you're working out and you're like, you have so much energy and you do something out of the blue. This is just one of those days. I don't know where, the, I don't know where, the, where it came from. So I'll show you, the, if you didn't see the, the, the video footage of me hitting my previous PR, which was last year. So it's been nearly a year between 2016 PR for squat and 2017 PR for squat. Just compare both both sets of videos and see which one looks like a grinder, which one looks more difficult and see, uh, uh, look at it for yourself. Hey, this is something, uh, this is something, no, I don't know. Hey, 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 this is something, no, I don't know. Keep in mind, I'm actually a bit smaller than I was last year, which means, technically speaking, like I said in yesterday's video, I feel stronger and I'm much stronger than I was last year, even though I'm at a lower body weight than last year. I mean, things happen. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. I always say it, man, but you know, I guess today is proof of that. I did not plan this. The other time I did the PR, I actually planned it, so... Okay, I wouldn't say planned it, planned it, but I knew I'd hit a PR. I just didn't know how much. Today, that wasn't the plan at all. It was just a matter of me feeling strong and executing. But anyway, I stopped talking. I had a good session. I feel like I went... The squats took too much out of me, so energy-wise, I... The rest of the accessory movements, I did address them maybe seven and a half out of ten, which isn't too bad, but I wasn't too happy with how accessory movements went. But at least I have a second uh, second leg day this week, that's on Thursday, so I'll go in and put in work as far as uh, legs are concerned. And it, it's, it's mostly about volume, so a lot of reps, a lot of sets. So now I need to go in, have a snack, so I'll have a banana, a protein shake, and chill out for a bit before I hit my cardio, come back and have my last meal of the day. I just thought I'd talk about this real quick before I go hit my cardio. So I'm watching a YouTube video. Uh, I've just had a, I've just had the protein shake and a banana before I go for cardio. And Bismo Jones, shout out to Chris Jones. He just followed me. He showed me some love, just liked a few of my photos. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if you're in the fitness community, you'll understand. I had feels for such an icon to like show you somebody. I mean, Chris Jones. If you don't know who Chris Jones is, just look at this clip real quick. What's good, homies and homies? How about get your boy? So shout out to Chris Jones. Now let me go hit cardio. Woo! Woo! The boy is back. What a run. Must have taken me about 20 or so minutes. Oh, maybe 30, to be honest. I'm sweating like a pig. Look at the shirt, look at my face. So first cardio session out of the way. Uh, day two of 72. So like I said earlier in this video, we're exactly 10 weeks out from Christmas. So Christmas is 10 weeks away. So I have to try and get shared between now and then. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, but like I said, I'm taking it slow. Enjoy the cardio session. Listening to some big meal, wins and losses. Bad, bad album. Anyway, so yeah, cardio done for the day. Next up tomorrow, we've got chest, arms, cardio again. Same thing. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Anyway, yes, I need to take a shower. Uh, check on my calories. Um, I'm, I'm doing well today, not like yesterday. But... So that's the meal. 116 grams of protein. They are chicken thigh and chicken drumstick. 
100 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of avocado, and 50 grams of brown rice. That's dinner for today. And what does that mean for my macros? That, hmm, let me try and focus here. That I've got, if you look at the far right, on the top far right, I've got 36 grams of protein left, 9 grams of carb, and 10 grams of fat. And like I told you guys, I'm doing well with my calories today. Uh, 3 or 8 calories left and that's that'll be just before I go to sleep. Yo Leon, what the hell is this you're saying on Instagram story, bro? Yeah, at least now when I'm going for my next session, I don't need like a circumcised teenager trying to walk. Trying to walk. What the hell? And yeah, bro, you guys have checked out the fitness revolution. So, it's safe to say, my voice is officially gone. Please don't laugh at me when you watch this clip, but uh, anyway. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content and give me a thumbs up so I can get well soon so that I can continue on this diet. So, yeah, anyway, never mind. So, we've come to the end of the day and I'm about to show you the last meal I'm having. It's a snack, a pre-sleeping snack just before I eat the sack. Um, 380 is what the remainder of my calories consist of. So, I've still got 10 carb, uh, I believe 36 protein and... 9 fat, I think, yeah, something like that. So, 10 carb, 9 fat, and 36 protein. So, I'll show you what the snack's gonna consist of. The snack consists of this protein, which I'm not going to reveal until a later date, and 100 grams of this lovely looking watermelon. Okay, it's not lovely, but you know, it'll do. So, I'm gonna have 100 grams of this and a scoop and a half of this protein. Okay, guys, so it's time for me to conclude the video. And like I said, I promised that, that I'd complete and hit my macros for the day. And your boy did just that, even if he has a hoarse voice. Anyway, let me show you guys my, my macros and my calories. So unfortunately, it's a bit blurry. I don't know why it's refusing to focus, but I don't know if you can see, which I doubt. Protein target was 172 and I hit 172. Carb over here was 262. Well, I'm sorry, it was 259, but I hit 262. I went over by 3 grams, which is fine. And finally, fat over here, goal target was 64 and I hit 56. So, couldn't get the 8. So, you know, it happens, but that's the closest I could get and it's as close I could, as I could get. As far as the calories are concerned, target was 2300, so 2300. And I got 2202, so deficit of 98 but like i said that's the closest i could get in terms of accuracy anyway let me conclude the video you guys have seen day two today you've seen everything you've seen my workout uh which was legs today you've seen my you saw you saw the aftermath of the cardio so i still have to stretch a bit before i sleep because i'm feeling kind of my quads are a bit tight in a way so yeah that tells you where i'm at cardio is but i'll get better i'm not really worried about that so yeah legs cardio and last thing was my workout plan for this week so my split and everything so you guys saw that so you saw three major things and as usual you've seen my calories and macros for the day so here's the last meal for the day the snacks 100 grams of watermelon and two scoops of whey protein with nine ounces of water so i'm gonna have that really quickly and hit the sack because i've got a wrong I'm going a long day tomorrow, sorry. But anyway, please give the video a thumbs up. I'll get well soon, I promise. I need to be back proper. And yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So this is day two. I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It's red light. It's red light.